Would you love to have a better sex life starting today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to share in the next six or so minutes can make that happen by radically changing how you think about sex. As a sex coach, I get to hear a lot about people's sex lives. From my clients, of course, but also pretty much everyone who hears what I do. People tell me about their best moments of epic bliss, their deepest shame, and absolutely everything in between. What I hear most is that people want better sex more often. They tell me their lives would be happier. And it's not just the people I speak to. In a recent major survey, over two-thirds of respondents agreed with the statement, my overall quality of life would improve if my sex life improved. Would you agree with that statement? Yeah. <laughs> if so, that makes sense. Science shows regular sexual activity, including solo, improves our physical and our mental health. And think of the skills we're practicing in good regular sex with a partner. These include communication, creativity, empathy, generosity, and the active practicing of consent. But how do we improve people's sex lives on a mass scale when there's so much shame and secrecy around sex, when there are such differing levels of knowledge and experience, and when our situations and needs are all unique. I propose a simple but powerful reframe of how we think about sex, that we approach it like a favorite hobby. I'll explain what I mean with a comparison. Let's compare sex to tennis without the competitive element. So imagine you want to play better tennis more often with your partner. What would you do? You'd talk about tennis, both on and off the court. You'd get your diaries out and you'd plan when to play. You'd be keen to learn. Maybe you'd invest in lessons or watch free tutorials online or read about it. You'd be curious about techniques you hadn't tried. Maybe you'd experiment with specialist tennis clothing or high-tech accessories. One day, you'd want a long, intense match, and another, just a quick bit of sweaty fun. So you'd always check in, what do you fancy today? If you developed a physical pain which stopped you playing, you'd see a medical specialist, and you'd be keen to get back on the court. You'd agree the most important thing is that you both enjoy it, and you'd soon find you were playing better tennis more often. But that's how we approach a hobby. It's very different to how most people approach sex. Most of us never talk about sex, even with the people we're having it with. We certainly don't get our diaries out and plan when to do it. We just hope we'll spontaneously want it at the same time. We don't educate ourselves. And most of what we were taught when we were young was what can go wrong. If there is a physical problem, we're embarrassed. Often we don't see a doctor. We might not even tell our partner. We just make excuses to avoid the whole thing or grit our teeth and pretend that we're enjoying it. When we do have sex, we typically do the same acts in the same order as we've done for years. Imagine if we did that on the tennis courts, how quickly we'd get bored. So it's no wonder we're not doing it or enjoying it as much as we'd like to. Let's start to approach sex like a hobby instead. Let's talk about it, especially with the people we're having it with. Let's get our diaries out and be excited to plan it. This is not an admission of failure. This is a positive, affirmative act which recognizes sex as an important part of our busy lives. Let's educate ourselves put sex into a podcast platform or an online bookstore and see what grabs your interest. Browse Netflix for documentaries. Sign up for an online course. You'll be amazed what's out there. Let's always check in with each other. What do you fancy today? A long, intense session or a quick bit of sweaty fun? 
And let's not always leave sex until last thing at night. After all, you wouldn't expect to play your best tennis in between brushing your teeth and falling asleep. <laughs> Reframing sex as a hobby works, whatever our age, gender, whether we're single or have a partner or partners, and whatever our current level of experience. It gives us hope when life is genuinely too busy, maybe when we're raising a young family, for example, that we can and will return to it. In the bigger picture, it highlights the need for accurate education and accessible medical care. It encourages respect for diversity. It recognizes that people in differently abled and aging communities have a right to pleasure too. Crucially, it opens the conversation around sex, removing the shame and secrecy, and encourages us to joyfully seek pleasure. And remember the skills we're practicing, the communication, the creativity, the empathy. Those are the same skills which help to make our communities and the world a better place. How would your life change if you started to think of sex in this way? I urge you to give it a try. Maybe you'll find sex becomes your new favorite hobby. Thank you.